So what we're going to do is we're going to make the graphics a lot better and we're going to make it so the player uh, appears to change sprites when he moves right, left, up and down. So here you can see him moving right and left and when he goes right, he moves right, left, he goes left, up, he goes up and down, he goes down. The enemies also are going to change their sprite when they move left and right, they change to the appropriate sprites. And the up and down enemies are going to also change to the appropriate sprites. So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at the sprite person. We're going to load the sprite. We're going to take our original teddy bear. And uh, so if we previously had the teddy bear, um, which was this one right here. So previously, that was our person. Not a very good sprite. So what we do is in the sprite editor, we click on the button here that says edit sprite. So I load up my sprite person and I load up the sprite. And in the sprite, there's uh, one called um, person nice strip. And you can see there's clearly four images, one, two, three, four. And so what I do is I uh, click on edit sprite and I go file, create from a strip. It's a strip of four images. So in my resources, I scroll down to that strip, person nice strip, and I put that there's four images and there's four images per row. And you'll see it divides it into four. So image zero is going down. Image one, so we start by counting with zero, even though most people normally count by one. Uh, but in computer programming, when we have multiple of the same thing, um, we actually use an index and we call the first uh, position zero. So the zero position is down, the one position is up, uh, two is right and three is left. So now that I have that, it appears like he's spinning. So in my object person, let's go to object person. How am I going to fix that? Well, what I'm going to do is in the create event, I'm going to go to um, main one and change sprite into sprite person. And remember I said sub image zero is going down. So I tell it to use sub image zero. And the speed I give it is a speed of not moving between image zero, one, two, three, and four. And it's really important I put speed zero. Because I put speed zero, it's not gonna spin around and round like this. Speed zero, you're just going to see image zero, uh, which is the first one, okay? Which is perfect what we want. Okay, then when I press down, I need to change down. So right now, what I previously had is I had this, start moving down. But what I need to do is I need to go to control and I need to do a group of things. So I put the block in here, so start of block. I wanna, when I press down, I wanna move down, so I'll leave that in the block. And I also want to change the sprite to the person sprite sub image zero, which is down at a speed of zero. And then I go to control and I do finish the block off. Okay, let's do the same thing for um, moving up. So moving up, I would do the same thing. This is previously what we had, move up. And now what I want to do is I want to do a group of things. So I bring the block in and say, move up. Yep, I want to do that. And also change the sprite. And so I drag change sprite and I say sprite person. And image one was moving up. And again, I don't want any speed. I don't want it to go between image one, two, zero, one, two, three, and four. Uh, I wanted just to do uh, image one and stop. So it's going to change into the sprite one. And then I put the end block of it. So that's what we're gonna do. And right and left, you can see it's exactly the same, but I do sprite two, speed zero for uh, right. And for left, I do 
um, Sprite 3. Okay, the monsters. How are the monsters going to change? So what I do is I change the sprite and for the monster, so previously I had, uh, if you look at my monsters, uh, monster one, I'm going to use this sprite. Now monster one only moves um, left and right. So I don't need the up and down. So for monster one, I'm only gonna use image two and image three. So watch what I do for monster uh, uh, left and right. I use the monster one sprite. And so when I start, I start moving left or right. And in the step event, I check to see if H speed is smaller than zero. So if it's smaller than zero, it means it's going to the left. And so I'm gonna change it to sprite three, which is the left sprite. And then I'll use else, and if it's going uh, the other direction, it would be subimage two. So notice I'm not using all four of the monsters. I'm only using two if it's going right and three left. And so I do that check by testing the H speed. So H speed is the vertical, uh, or the, sorry, the horizontal speed. And if it's negative, it's moving left. So that would be a three and we change it to sprite three, else we'll change it to sprite two because I'm moving right. Up and down, very similar, except for I'm gonna use zero and one, uh, even though there's four images for that sprite. Same thing, I start moving up and down, and then in the end step event, I say if the vertical speed, so this time the V speed, it's called V speed for vertical speed. And if it's negative, I'll change it to sprite one, that means it's going down, else I'll change into sprite zero, and that means it's going up. And exact same thing for the monster all. And basically,